I don't know if you realize what Dr. Paul Stoffels told you. He said they are this close to a cure for HIV AIDS. That's what he told you. We've been waiting for this for a long time, baby. And right now, I am pleased to welcome three brave people from around the world who live with and fight to end HIV AIDS. Please welcome to the stage, Cindy Mague, who you just met in our video, Housing Works co-founder and HIV survivor, Eric Sawyer, and AIDS activist and survivor, Ken Lee Sequise. As a young woman living with HIV in South Africa, I face many challenges in excess with my treatment. Every month I have to walk eight kilometers to the clinic to get my HIV treatment. I have to collect my medication because it's my life. If I fall sick, what will happen to my daughter? I contracted HIV before the discovery of the HIV virus. After seeing scores of people dear to me fall victim to death, indifference, and stigma, I helped start the AIDS activist group ACT UP. I then came together with three of my friends to found the AIDS housing group, Housing Works. We dedicated ourselves to serving New York's most neglected population, the tens of thousands of homeless men, women, and children living with HIV AIDS. Today, I'm proud to say that this group that many of you know as Housing Works is New York's leading HIV advocacy organization for homeless and low-income people. Act up, fight back, Fight AIDS. Act up, fight back, fight AIDS. Act up, fight back, fight AIDS. And, and I speak to you today as someone living with HIV who is living, who's able to lead a healthy, normal life. And that's because I have access to high quality treatment. But many people around the world today are not so lucky. I have lost close friends and family members to AIDS. For this reason, I have dedicated my life to saving the lives of others and fighting for better access to quality, affordable treatment for people living with HIV and AIDS. I am fortunate enough today to be on this new treatment called Dolutegravir, which you will hear about a little bit more shortly, which has truly changed my life for the better. A treatment that until recently was only widely available to people in rich countries. To tell you more about this life-saving treatment, it gives me great pleasure to invite to the stage Dr. Linda Gale Becker, President of the International AIDS Society, and Carolyn Emol, Senior Director for the Clinton Health Access Initiative. Thanks, Whoopi, and hello, global citizens. I am thrilled to announce today, on behalf of the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID, the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, TB, and Malaria, DFID, UNITAID, and UNAIDS, a brand new pricing agreement with Mylan Laboratories and Orobindo Pharma, which is set to benefit over 30 million people living with HIV in countries with the greatest need. <laughs> we believe, we believe that where you were born should not determine your ability to access the highest quality treatment available and to live a long and healthy life with HIV. So, for the first time ever, people living in 92 low and middle income countries 
will have access to a highly optimal treatment containing a drug called dolutegravir for just 20 cents a day. 20 cents. <laughs> this new negotiated agreement is set to save our world at least $1.3 billion over the next six years. That's $1.3 billion that can bring us closer to ending the HIV AIDS epidemic and other diseases that affect the world's poorest for good. I would like to thank the Gates Foundation, the governments of South Africa and Kenya, and all of our partners for helping to make this possible. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. I'm a South African HIV doctor, and my country, South Africa, has made remarkable strides in the last decade to curb the HIV epidemic in our country. Today, there are 3.9 million South African people living with HIV on treatment, but another 3 million are not yet accessing life-saving treatment. In September 2016, the South African government launched Treatment for All which extended treatment access for all living with HIV. As part of the efforts to scale up high quality treatment for all, I'm very happy and proud to announce that South Africa, along with Kenya, are two of the first countries that have agreed to introduce into their markets this important medication and transform the lives of their people. This means that not only will many more people have access to more affordable treatment for HIV and AIDS, but they will have access to the best drug on the global market with fewer side effects and will only have to take one pill a day. We have made fantastic progress in the past decade to scale up globally the number of people on treatment, improve the quality of care for people living with HIV, and prevent new HIV infections. Through agreements like the one you've heard about today, we are taking big steps forward to ending the AIDS epidemic. We thank you.